Hello, this is Django Fed 642 and today I'm going to show you how to build an automatic geothermal generator. And this is very similar to my last version, except it's six times more efficient and it um, basically replaces half of what it used to be with something that makes six times more power. And I'm going to show you how to build it. First, what you have to do is put down an MK3 collector and some glowstone. Then we'll put down an energy condenser and a filter with the hole facing out this way. A deployer. And then on top of the deployer, what we're going to do is we're going to put another filter. So there should be a filter facing this way, a deployer facing this way, and a filter facing up. Okay, next, what we're going to do is we're going to put a stone block here. And this is going to be the chamber where the lava is. So we'll do that. And I'll put this right here. And then, I guess, yeah, we'll put the redstone engines right now. Now we'll do other. So we're going to have to place this over and it's going to be completely sealed so nothing catches on fire and I don't think anything will. So we'll put redstone engines on side. Then this stage is complete. So the first stage should look like an MK3 collector with glowstone, energy condenser, filter facing this way, condenser facing this way, filter facing up, a deployer, yep, and then got stone block with like the chamber and this pump right here. It should have like the flower thing up. Okay, so the next step is we're actually going to do the redstone for this. And it's somewhat difficult, but it's kind of easy to follow. So first we're going to place a stone block right here. I'm going to throw down a switch. Then we're going to place some redstone wiring here. I'm going to put a repeater here, a repeater here, and a stone block right there. So this is what it should look like. Okay, and then we're just going to wrap redstone around it. Now when you wrap it around here, don't wrap it around like this, otherwise it'll be a loop. So, just put the redstone current right here. So this is what the finished thing should look like with the redstone. So these two are on the ground, and then this one just comes up, like this does. So if I turn these on, all of these are receiving power. Okay, so next thing, what I need to do is I need to set up the redstoning for this. And there should be one redstone right here, a knot gate, a timer set to probably, I'd say, 0.700 seconds, a repeater here, and then some alloy wire going up the side like this. And this is actually really important because this uh, puts the lava bucket in and then this a tick after uh, empties the lava bucket. Okay so next what we're going to do since that's finished is we are going to set the pneumatic tube in and this basically recycles the buckets so there's enough energy left in the end. Okay, so since that's finished, with the second level, it should look like this. Okay. Okay, so for the third level, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to put in stuff that makes the power. And this is going to be like the generators and MFSUs and all that stuff. So first what we need to do is we need to place six, um, six cobblestone waterproof pipe in the opposite direction from the glowstone. So it'll look like six just like this. Then on top of those six what you want to do is you want to put the generators in outward direction like 
they don't need to be in outward direction, but it's I think it's better to see if they're actually getting power. So I actually I do this. And then what you want to do is you want to hook up the glass fiber cable. And the glass fiber cable is really good to use because it can handle the extreme voltage and it can also handle um, a lot of power. And this is an extreme voltage, but it's still a ton of power going into one MFSU. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that MFSU and we're going to put it on the side of this glass fiber cable. So all the power is going to be coming into here. And last but not least, we are going to put a mass fabricator at the end. So there's the mass fabricator, and we'll throw a switch on it, and we'll turn it off for now. So last but not least, we have to fill these right here. So the first filter, and we're actually behind this side right now. First filter should have a lava bucket in it, and the filter on top should have an empty bucket. Then for good measure, we're going to put a lava bucket in here, and we'll just double check everything before we start it up. So got that there, got that there. Okay. So now since we got everything, going to flip this on. So in a second, these should start pumping, and lava should appear in here, and we'll get some power. Okay, so you see it started pumping. And we'll just wait for the lava to come through. Now the reason I'm using cobblestone waterproof pipes right here is not because it's cheap. It's because if you use something like gold waterproof pipes and there's more room, it's going to, there's not going to be enough um, lava going to each of the six generators because this can pump a lot. And if you use more storage in the piping than you need to, it won't reach the generators. And basically general rule is if there's any lava going to the generator, it'll power it. So cobblestone waterproof pipe is the best thing to use when you're using this setup. And as you can see, it's turning nighttime, so I'll set it to daytime. And it'll take about 10 minutes for this to reach red level. But once it, when it does, it should look a bit like this. And this is what we actually want to have in the end. As you can see, these are completely full. And these are filled up. And we already have six... U matter made, and what's nice about uh, making U matter is it takes a while, but it takes much shorter time than most uh, low energy generators. So basically, you could maybe do something else and then come back, and then you'll have maybe like 10 U matter. Do something else, and you'll have like 10 more. So it's a uh, nice generator to have to generate, you know kind of like medium high power and these are blacking out because it's not completely warmed up but in the end it will look exactly like that as you can see this isn't too hard to build and it's six times more efficient so this is Jingle Fed 642 and thanks for watching